Hello everybody, this is Samantha Vito. Welcome back to Contradictions. I completely forget where we left off, but let's try to find some clues. Yay! If you haven't noticed, I have new furniture. So, I am a little bit, well, in a whole lot of pain, but that's besides the point. I'm quite happy. Paul's theft stunt. Who's Paul again? Oh. The old guy. The bald guy? Old guy. Oh, old guy. Yeah, because we was on our way to talk to Emma. Emma? I think, or we were talking with Emma. Emma! Emma! <laughs> <laughs> I still... I love... I love the guy's shoes, but I think with the... Uh, a few more questions, if you don't mind. Up, I think that would be... a little uncomfortable, wouldn't it? What do you know about Paul Rand? Paul the Slime. You've obviously met him, then. <sighs> yes, I have. What do you know about him committing a fake theft during one of the courses? What, about him going through people's bags? Yeah, he tried that thing on me as well, weirdo. So mm. you were at Third Eye? Yes. Yes, I, I went there for a few months after college and I left because I hated it. And I didn't know Atlas was the same thing. And I went with Simon. Does Simon know that? Mm. No. I didn't want to burst his bubble, so I didn't say anything. So he doesn't know you went to Third Eye? No. Ah! So is that where you met Ryan as well? Yep. Right! What, uh, what didn't you like about the course? Everything. Well, it was just... It's creepy. It was stupid. They just made you do things to other people and be abusive just to prove that you could, and I absolutely hated it. What sort of things? Oh, just stupid things. Nasty things to prove that you could do it. It was about not feeling guilty. And it was horrible. That's why I left. And is Simon doing all of this stuff now? No. No. I, I think they had to stop because it was just getting ridiculous. I think somebody got arrested or something. Very interesting. Ooh. Hmm. Simon! Thank you. Probably be back later. Okay. What do you know about Paul stealing money from students? Part of a stunt or something? What did he do that? I, I've never heard about anything like that. Are you sure? Well, it might be part of the risk Jimmy! taking thing. Jimmy! <laughs> Explain that. Well, it's it's part of the course. You have to do something mm. dangerous or risky. Uh, something you wouldn't normally do. Oh something no, that's dangerous. definitely Jimmy. Well, not dangerous. I just realized risky. it uh, all like, y'all. Um, saying something you wouldn't normally say to someone or uh, doing something unusual. Like stealing from other students. Well, we didn't do anything like that. Okay. No, that is Jimmy. You have Jimmy. to tell everyone at the end of the course because anyway. Because his facial structure... And you're not allowed to do anything is that would hurt or offend anyone. Same eyes, same oh, you're not allowed teeth. to do anything really bad. Still gorgeous face. Really. And it's same a good time voice. for a business course. No, it okay. works, though. Well, I don't know why I didn't remember any of it, any of it until well, yeah, just this morning. I don't have facial, like, facial recognition. It, well, he looked, here's the thing about Summit, he actually looked really familiar and that really freaked me out. It's like, I know him, I've seen this motherfucker someplace. I wonder if I he don't made know. the game, or if he's one of the people who made the game. He wasn't just an actor. Well, here's the thing. Uh... What really caught me was the eyes. I always remember the eyes. If nothing else, that is the only detail I will remember. Everything is just kind of... I don't know. I know them, but unless their personality is striking, I won't remember them. Okay. But that's fucking Jimmy. Okay. So there's is no... His name is no one with Simon, it's fucking Jimmy. Not <laughs> Jimmy, it's fucking Jimmy. <laughs> huh. Shit, I don't- Shit, I don't remember anything. There's nothing about the thought I- Uh... I don't know, I just- Something... Something... With... Fucking Jimmy! It's just, I, I don't know. I know there's going to be a contradiction in here. Some place in here. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Yeah, we'll find it. 
Yeah, I'll find it. I always find it. Rebecca! I know. But we have a mystery. A uh, few more questions, if you don't mind. So? Did you know about Paul's money stealing at Atlas? Are you talking tuition. about a particular incident or just in general? It's something he did on the course. Stunt. And what did he do exactly? Oh, well, he pretended me. to steal from the students. That doesn't ring a bell. Paul's stunts usually involve throwing fancy dress parties with scantily clad girls or women dressed as nurses. That's his usual fetish. When was the last party he threw? Um, you think uh, Paul wants his bed pair cleaned? <laughs> <laughs> uh, last party was sometime in the summer. <sighs> I don't know if you can see Trophy on camera. Well, oh, she's she adorable. No, oh, oh my back. That was a mistake. You fool. Oh, that's a mistake. Be okay. back later on if that's okay. I'll make sure. Hang on, I'm gonna take off. Go uh, first. Oh! Is he gone? No. Are So I can't talk to Paul right- Oh yeah, okay, because there was a- He had a phone call. Couple more questions, if that's okay. No, Doesn't right, know right, yeah. about it. Doesn't recognize the bag. Okay. So there's nothing Okay, there that's for it for now. Thank you. Cardboard. Yep. Hello, oh, cardboard. Just imagine a standee for that guy. A cardboard standee? Oh. Just his over bloated picture on a piece of cardboard. Yeah. It would still have more personality than this fucker. <laughs> Granted, the actor is doing a great job. Yeah. Of being it's the so. Character. A, yeah, it's the character I hate. The actor's doing. Not. The actor is doing a phenomenal job of pissing me off. <laughs> No, no, gather. Let's go look at things. Up to the woods. Gonna look at the lake. Oh, this guy. These people go home. Go home. Would be fair. Perfect. You've time been there for eighty hours. I don't even know how much 80 hours is in one day. It's like three and a half. Okay, so it's three days and eight hours. Never mind. Well, hey, hang on. Let's see, uh... Ask you a couple more things, please. Let's see... When was the last yeah, time you saw Kate Vine? Imagine a wig um, cap. So... I'm Last trying to, Friday's but I meeting, can't. I think. Did you see her? And I can't after recognize her from his voice, obviously. Oh, well, well, well. Name, Kate. That would be when we started Atlas. Because I. It, Three months what ago. What pissed me off is Did because I recognize the eyes, but because of the lighting. Can you describe her. And at that the night, it's so fucking dark. Yeah. And some parts, his eyes are all, like glowing uh, blue. Because I recognize him vaguely life, because of you know? the uh, sharp, the quite sharp. Lines Would here you there. say she had and any emotional lips. problems? Because I'm trying yeah. to read the lips. She, her mood, her mood could change. Is I'm paying attention. And, almost well, there was the drinking too. problem. Is is now? You become aware of that. And also those well, cheekbones. Come drunk to meet him. Because Jimmy had very distinctive cheekbones. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah, because I of the stuff. Yeah, I, I mean, everyone knew, but like I said, I only pay attention to like this portion of the. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Oh, it's just a business management like, I can see the same training like, program for postgrads. Yeah. And you, you start to read their lips. Uh, yeah. 
Like, and I'm not going to see their eyes. Friday? Yeah, well, my group isn't doing it this Friday, but uh, one of the groups is. Okay. Like, there are moments where it's like, I'm fuck all part of the conversation. It, I it, won't know it, the It's also the, the, uh, the smile lines he has when he was talking to Maya and he was trying to convince, oh, hey, come to my show. It starts at nine. Oh, it starts at like midnight or something like yeah. that. Because I also uh, remember the smile lines. Is that what the face creases are? No, not downhill. Um, I, I don't know what those are. I, th I think, uh, like, either really skinny people have them or super fat people have them. No, oh, no, everybody gets them. It's just some are more defined than others. Yeah. But he's also... But, but I always... I recognize the cheekbones. I recognize the face structure. His eyes... I knew his eyes. Yeah. His voice and his speech pattern. Okay. It's like, who the fuck is this? Yeah. I just... His voice is familiar, but not so familiar because his voice is... His voice is different in the game when he was playing Jimmy. But yeah, that's a... That's okay. fucking Jimmy. Okay. <coughs> You're no longer Simon, Simon! You're fucking Jimmy now! <coughs> oh. Was that thought I... Wait a minute. Aha! Uh -huh. hey! Oh my god! So, you witnessed Paul's money-stealing stunt, is that right? Oh my god. Yes. But you weren't there when Liam died. No. Don't quite understand that, you see, because Paul pulled the stunt on the same night. Liam died later that evening. Um, I, uh, I him. must have mixed up. So you don't know anything about Liam's death, even though you were there on that night? No. Emma. Bullshit! Slap on the clap! I think you better explain, don't you? <laughs> I know what I said. <laughs> it was a stupid wasn't it? Oh, fair with him, too. Probably. Well, we were all told to do stupid things, and and then that thieving thing happens, and so... Take a breath, Emma. <sighs> Liam killed himself because of me. Oh. What? Why? Um, <clears throat> Liam had a, a birthmark on the side of his face, and no one would mention anything, even though we all knew it was there. Yeah, that's what we saw in the fight. And we all thought, they all thought it was ugly. So I thought I'd say something, and I, I even asked Paul if it was Why? okay to say it. What did he say? He said he wouldn't mind. Then Liam killed himself. Liam's dead because of me. Ugh. First of all, no. Well, Emma. But I'm quite sure you regret what you said, but I really don't think you caused Liam's death. She didn't. There's always more to these things than meets the eye. Yeah. One comment. We can't tell Simon, please. Unless someone Simon is so severely, severely mentally unstable, one Thank comment you. is not going to force someone over the edge to kill themselves. Oh! Or, nice. or to commit a murder. Yeah. Yeah, with one comment does or not force someone over I the edge. I suppose it's possible that what she said led to Liam's death, but I really doubt it. So, but but what bothers me is I Ryan. Her. I blame the Rands before... The Rands? What's what's the Rands? Paul and Ryan. Oh, okay, I forgot that this name. Yeah. Yeah, but... <coughs> <coughs> The fact that Ryan <coughs> oh, <but> just choke <coughs> The fact that Ryan has a degree in psychology, he knows You don't do that shit. Unless unless he's using it for evil purposes, I I I personally call that dark psychology. It's one of the reasons I got into psychology is so I can help people get away from the negativity, the bullshit, the very persuasive evil they have in their lives. That's one of the reasons I tried to get into it. And then college did not happen for me. So I'm quite angry at that. A 
ask about a few more things, please? Slap him in the clap! Yeah, because you haven't... Oh. I didn't realize you were a musician. Oh, well, I'm not really a musician. I mean, I, 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 I dabble a little bit. To be quite honest with you, I'm far more interested in collecting guitars. You're not in a band. Uh, well, I, I did audition. I did audition a few years ago. Well, I say a few years ago, of course, I mean about 20 years ago. <laughs> Doesn't time fly? <laughs> what band was that? Oh, I can't. Uh, something oh. stone. Aren't they all called of something stone? Are. Hammerstone. Twenty That's it. years ago. And you still collect? Um, I haven't bought a guitar for over a year. I feel I've moved on. Oh, you lie! You called Hammerstone. He did he say Hammerstone? Yeah, he said something stone. Then just came up with Hammerstone. I just, in my mind, I just immediately saw MC Hamill just like dancing across the floor and people throwing stones at him. It's like, can't touch us! And people's trying to hit him. <laughs> oh no. That'd be a great fundraiser. Oh. Give people water balloons and dress someone up as a uh, MC Hammerman. Hamill. Oh yeah. I see. Oh yeah. So tell me more about tell this about your doll burning. Bullshit. It's a symbolic ceremony we perform every few weeks on the course. What's it about? It's about burning your old personality and finding a new one. A better one. So the dolls oh, are no, you. One. They represent you from the past. Each doll has a picture of the student as a child or a teenager. Uh, and they burn the doll and symbolically destroy their old personality. It's quite simple but effective, I find. And why did that girl shout? Because it's an emotional <coughs> thing. She, she quite clearly become very attached to her doll. They do spend the first month with them. We tell them to take the doll everywhere with them before they actually go through the doll burning. Ooh. And you believe that's a good thing? Destroying your past? Of course it's a good thing, Inspector. We're all shackled to our past, particularly you by the sound of it, perhaps. Perhaps we should make a doll of you, Inspector, and burn that. What do you think? No, thank you. You're probably right. I'm not sure it would do any good anyway. Oh, you cheeky bitch. <laughs> Can you tell me about <clears throat> auto-hypnosis? Well, what would you like to know? Do you use it on the course? We dip into it occasionally, but uh, it's not a major feature of the course. I would say that... Well, a minority of the students know how to use it, but the majority wouldn't know and have a clue. It's not a requirement of the course. No, not at all. We don't, we don't ask people to do things that they're not comfortable with. There's no bribery, no coercion. Uh, we're thinking about phasing... Okay, Grimmel. Out, actually. What's the reason for that? Uh, well, well, to be perfectly honest with you, Inspector, it doesn't actually work very well. If he doesn't believe in it, then he wouldn't be using it. That's the thing. Uh, no. I mean, from a business perspective, you use business. and say anything to get money in some some circumstances. So even if he doesn't believe in the auto hypnosis, he tells other people he believes in it, so they'll do it, and it works for them. Hmm. What do you know about well, your father's okay. money it's stealing the snake stunt? Oil. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, that was something that Dan decided to do uh, as part of the shock aspect of the course. But he went too far, you believe. <laughs> he usually does. And do you think it did have anything to do with Liam's death? No, 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 no. Liam wasn't like that at all. I mean, that was just a simple unfortunate coincidence. I mean, Liam had his own problems, but he didn't have any problems with the money shock stunt. No. You're not even drinking. At all. You're just holding it to your mouth. There's literally no liquid coming down from the glass. What do you know about Emma Bowman criticizing Liam before his suicide? 
I was there. I witnessed it. Uh, well, I, I know Emma blamed herself for his death. Did she? Well, she was upset and all of that, but um, I, I wouldn't blame her, Inspector. I, I really don't think she had anything to do with it at all. You don't think? Liam was a very confident person, very outgoing, very strong individual, or so it seemed. I mean, people are free to do what they like. Even something as irreversible as bumping themselves off. Sad though that is, of course. I don't know why I'm so bothered by none of the water is going down in the glass as he's pretending to drink it. <laughs> okay. Oh. Right, Do you know what this is? Well, I think it's a bag. <laughs> is it a bag, Inspector? <laughs> oh, shop. Oh, yes, the costume shop, yes. We used oh, to hire sass. from that. For the course? Well, yes. For the course, at the end of each stage, we have a, a, a little party and we ask students to dress up or try acting out uh, being somebody new. They're new selves, as it were. Could you explain a bit more? New selves? I do get that. One of the main elements of the course is learning how to act. How to be whoever you need to be in any given situation. I think you'll agree, Inspector, Ooh. that business is about being the right person in the right situation at yeah. the right time. Yeah. Uh, what it does, it, it helps yeah. them to detach themselves, become somebody new, pretend, you know, you know, that kind of thing. It's surprising what a little bit of cross-dressing can do for you, Inspector. You should try it. Mm, not at this stage. <laughs> Couple more questions, if that's okay. Do you think Emma's criticism of Liam on that last night led to his suicide? I doubt it helped. Did you encourage Emma to criticise him? I didn't encourage Emma to do anything. I merely told her what we tell every student to do, to express themselves as they want to. It would be out of order to criticise them after that, wouldn't it? However, I didn't expect her to criticise his birthmark, if that's what it was. That's a decision she took herself. So you didn't know her well? No, not at all. I think, wait a minute, I think he does. I think he does know Emma. Yeah, of course he does. Emma was having a banging his son. son. <laughs> da, da, da. Probably knew Emma. No. <gasps> Shit! I got it! False try! You yeah! say you didn't get hell! Uh... Yet you bought her a freedom necklace. I don't remember saying anything about buying Emma a necklace. So you didn't buy her one? So you did buy her one. So that means you must have known her. And quite well too. Stop making such a big thing about this, Inspector. Look, I've been around a few years. The clock is ticking and I admit I have a, an embarrassing weakness for attractive women it was a stupid mistake but that's all it was mm. so you're saying oh. you tried it on with her <laughs> try it on he got it I bought her a necklace I'm not aware that there's a law against buying presents unless, of course, the Third Reich has been elected while I was at a bridge party. Emma was old enough to make decisions for herself. And, as a matter of fact, she decided that she didn't want to be bothered with an old fool like me. Yes, she so did. Daddy, nothing son, happened. No mistakes. And... Nobody got hurt. <clears throat> And Simon. <coughs> like father, like son. No surprises Fuck there. Jimmy. I wonder how many students Paul has tried it on with. I wonder if, uh... 
I don't think he would be the type to keep like little trophies or collections of uh, the people he sleeps with. Which one? Uh, Paul. <coughs> he doesn't oh, seem no. like that. To yeah, he is. He is a horny old man, but you know what? Good for him. He's a wham bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, he is. But y you know what? At his age, good for him. Yeah. Good for him still having a hard up. <laughs> but Ryan, how? However. I bet he's, I bet he's a lump fucking noodle. <laughs> But, but, but seriously, uh, God, he's so fucking arrogant. I know he didn't kill anybody. I, I don't, I don't see any evidence of him killing anybody. I think he's too dumb. He sees himself as the smartest one in the room, but he is incredibly stupid. He's arrogant. Yeah. He's, he's, he's smart, but he's not that stupid to break the law. I, I, I really don't think it's him. If it is, I'm going to punch myself in the face. It might not be him directly. Oh, whoops. Ooh, that's so pretty at night. Can you imagine a nice little, uh, candlelit... Sorry. Dinner? That unintentional. Why do you have to make... You have to make start weird no noise. GO HOME! YOU <laughs> FUCKING FREAKS! <laughs> in the same spot. Well, yeah. In the same exact spot for the past five hundred hours. Yep. Oh god, I I publicized hell that. I'm sorry. Oh, oh good god. What is this? Oh, the boxes! That'll come in handy. Don't know why I never remember to buy one. Because you're a man. He's also a thief. He's I know, he just steals <laughs> everything! He steals <laughs> everything! If I ever, ever become a detective, I want to be this guy. I will <laughs> steal everything! <laughs> it's like, oh, a flash, I'll take this! Screwdriver, hi the ho A wallet! Full of loose cash, I'll just tuck you in. Absolutely. Oh my god. Let's see. Try using this. Teleportation. Oh yeah, was there a building back here? Yes, yes there is. There's a garage. And I'm gonna steal all the shit. <laughs> I'm gonna steal these leaves. I'm gonna steal those potatoes. That uh, spray bottle. Kit Tupperware that, ten that's silver call. I'm gonna steal the call now. Oh, don't put that in your mouth. Oh no! Bed. No! Don't do it. Is that Jason? Oh, well, and there's the mask symbol again. Looks like someone's been trying to make a point. Honey, don't. You should have wiped that off. Hang on, I'm gonna talk to. So, he was eating fuzz. Please don't. Bubba's. Ah. <sighs> uh, a few more questions, if you don't mind. Yeah. What about this? Know anything about these? Nope. Bullshit. Well, Aww. if he put the flyers up. Uh, Some random douche from the town might have seen it. Uh, what? Wonder if it was like Rebecca or something. Thank you. Probably be back later. Because Rebecca, uh, Rebecca's kind of still on the fence for me. Whether she's part of things or oh. if she's just willingly ignorant. Honest to God, she really is, like, highest on my sus list. She really is. Because I oh, think she killed... That's okay. Here's the thing, I think she killed Kate 
because she found out she overheard Kate threatening to blackmail Ryan. That might be. That's what I think. I don't think she gives a fuck about Ryan's affairs. Yeah. I do think she's still... I think she's more in love with control rather than Ryan. She's not the jealous type. She's the I'm um, the puppet master type. Yeah. And this bitch is about to get snipped. Have you ever seen these? Mm, it's Ryan's car. It got vandalized last year. His camera had been stolen, so I took pictures. God, whoever did it made a mess, didn't they? But nobody was prosecuted for it. Not that I remember. The insurance paid out, though. This camera's been stolen. Is there anything? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you know what uh, these are? Oh yes, that's my old car. Uh, it was vandalized. Um, I took those for the insurance company. Where did you find those? At the pub. Uh, you know who did this? I stole them. <laughs> yes. A girl called Lisa Blint. She was on the course, very strange girl. And why did she write the words devil worshippers all over your car? Well, devil she was a very strange girl. She had a lot of psychological problems. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure, Inspector. I, I mean, she, she took a dislike to the cause for some particular reason. I Maybe couldn't quite put my finger on it. And um, she asked for a refund. I declined. And she decided to spray her disapproval all over my car. Odd thing to spray, isn't it, though? Devil worshippers? Well, she was a very odd girl, Inspector. Uh, maybe she thought it was a way of getting back at us. I had no idea. Did Rebecca know about it? Well, yes, she did, but I, was, I wasn't about to unleash Rebecca on her. She can be quite fierce sometimes, you know. And I mean, the girl wasn't vindictive. She had psychological problems. She lives in the village, actually. I wonder if uh, Rebecca The run-down house at the end of the lane. Can't miss it. Really? Right. Oh, Thank you. Yep. Good for Rebecca, but that sucks for him. Tee hee. Now I get to go back to Rebecca. Be back later on if that's okay. Rebecca! I thought you already showed me the pictures. I did, but she said that she was the one who took the picture. Ryan said he was the one who took the picture. Ask you a couple more things, please. <clears throat> uh. Oh. <clears throat> mm. Prosecuted. No? Okay, well. <sighs> Cause she also said she didn't know. Okay, it. that's it for now. Thank you. But that's the thing. Okay, so let's find Lee. Lisa? Lisa? Could that be where Lisa, Lisa! Run down house at the end of the Lisa! lane. That's what Ryan said, wasn't it? Oh, you know he's sick of everyone's shit. No. Yeah. I do love the Is it Lisa? Yes. Uh, Inspector Jenks, I'm investigating an incident in the village. I wonder if I could ask you a few questions. No. What sort of incident? I'd rather come in and discuss it if that's all right with you. No. I promise I won't take long. Thank you. I'll just go in here. I have to go out in a minute. Oh, oh look, I, I can oh, come back I might not be here. What did you want to ask? I just wanted to ask you, did you know Kate Vine? No. What size are your panties? Right. Mm -hmm. Well, I heard that you're familiar with Atlas, the uh, life skills training company. What do you want to know about Atlas? Well, I heard you reacted badly to it. Of course I reacted badly. So would anyone. Who was sane? Now why do you say that? Because they're devil worshippers. Demons! Devil worshippers. Boom! Demons! They're making demons appear. They're tricking everybody. What? They're getting people to join up. Then they're putting demons inside them. Oh, I can see that point of view. You can see them. See who? Demons. What? Where could you see them? In the mirrors. At Atlas. Any 
mirror. You can't get rid of them. Oh, if I see a fuck! Oh, 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 so oh! If I see a fucking how demon, did you I'm done. Them? I'm going to be so done. I didn't. You still see them. So she scribed. I just don't look. I put all the lights on. I make sure it's all bright. I put them on when I need to look in the mirror. Mm -mm. If I make sure everything is bright, I just see myself without Bathroom seeing dudes. the other person. <clears throat> Who is the other person? She's like me, but older. So? It's like her eyes sink in. She's all wrinkled. With a wrinkled mouth. Like she's dying. And then I realize I'm her. Mm. I'm not me anymore. I'm her. I'm sorry, I have to go now. Mm -mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hell no! Hell no! Okay, one thing I have to comment more than anything else is how much I love that this is <sighs> the only fucking person. detective Utterly convinced that asks that Atlas questions. The devil. How are Ryan and Paul going to get out of this one? I love Jinx. Actor who plays Jinx, I pray you never see this dumb fucking video. But if you do, I love how your character asks fucking questions and how you are enthusiastic about asking questions. That is how detectives should be. Plus you steal shit. I am very happy about that. Let's see. Accusations. Okay, God, I. Uh, what's his name? Name. Cardboard. What's cardboard? Do you know Lisa? Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Do you know anyone who is interested in or involved with devil worship? Have you met Lisa? Which Lisa are you talking about? Mad Lisa lives on her own, doesn't like mirrors. Yeah, yeah, I've met her. You think she's mad? You can't look at yourself in the mirror without seeing ghosts. You've got problems, don't you think? How do you know her? She came to the farm for some eggs a couple <clears throat> of times. Got talking to her once, that's all. And what did she tell you? Nothing much. Except she thought the devil was after her. What did you tell her? Told her the devil needs a good reason to be after you. Not really. She was just like most people, really, blind Not to herself. Really. So she's more extreme. That's all madness is. Being blind to yourself. Oh. Recognize. Okay. Thank you. Probably be back later. And and this is why I don't scry. This is why I'm very careful about whatever I do. Anything I do, I have to have protection around me because shit happens. Rebecca! Rebecca! Ask about a few more things, please. Oh, that tiny thing. I wish I could Have hear it. you ever come across anyone interested in or involved with the occult? My husband. As in black magic? <coughs> no, why? Atlas awesome. don't use occult techniques or anything like that? Atlas? Not unless Ryan's got a secret he's not telling me about. Why, he's been talking. Just a line of inquiry. Okay, thanks. Definitely coming back, Wedel. I'm definitely coming back. Jimmy! Jimmy! <laughs>
Hey! You gonna Couple crack my eggs just that's okay. in this game? <clears throat> what do you know about devil worship? Devil worship? Where? At Atlas. <laughs> devil worship at Atlas? Nah, no, there's none of that. Mm-hmm. Have you seen these before? Hmm. No. Don't know the car. You. Do you know anything about these? Nope. Sorry. Bullshit! Slap all. Have you ever heard Beat about their up. being devil worship yep. at Atlas? Where Devil's are you no. tomorrow? <laughs> Definitely not. Who said that? It's just something I heard. Okay, thanks. Okay. <clears throat> Be back later on if that's okay. Oh, uh, 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 Paul. Paul. Paul! Paul! <laughs> I really just... I so Give bad I just want to see Jinx just like crash through the window on the <laughs> door like um, like the Kool-Aid man and start screaming Paul <laughs> Do you know anything about devil worship, Paul? I beg your pardon. Devil worship? Uh, Satanism? Are you Satan? Am I missing <laughs> something here? I heard Atlas had elements of Satanism on the course. <coughs> you are misinformed. We're a training company, we're not devil worshippers. What kind of a question is that? So you've no interest in the occult? No, Inspector, I have no interest in the occult any more than I have interest in pool vaulting, cheese making, or snake <laughs> Anything else you want to know that I'm not interested in? That's fine, thanks. <laughs> My big old throbbing neck! <laughs> Hey, uh, healthy sexual appetite is good for anybody uh, at his age. Let's see. Unless I'm on heart medication, then that is, that is something you should actually you know talk about. Do you know what these are? Yes, that's Ryan's car. Another toy he managed to ruin. It was vandalized sometime last year. You know who did it? I don't believe anybody was ever prosecuted for it. Hmm. Thank you, Daddy Snape. <laughs> Thank you. Probably be back later. I'm coming back. I'm coming! <laughs> I'm a little hyped up for whatever reason. Well, I mean, it is like a little bit of talk at night. Well, this is like a thought of fourth day in a row I haven't slept. Yep. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Let's see. No. Demons! Has devil worship ever been part of the course, Ryan? <laughs> Am I correct in assuming that you have spoken to Lisa Blint? You would be. She's been telling me all about the Atlas obsession with Satanism, Ryan. Then if you've met... Lisa Blint, then you will have worked out for yourself that she has a very vivid imagination. She also has psychological problems, diagnosed psychological problems, as a matter of fact. So where did she get the idea that you lot were, um, devil worshippers? I really have no idea. The girl is insane. She's frightened of her own shadow, bless her. She actually thinks that demons are possessing her even now. You really can't. Trust a word she says. So you are saying mm. there has never been any devil worship at Atlas? I don't even know what devil worship is, Inspector. It's not something I you particularly know anything about. I certainly liar. don't recall anyone ever having worshipped the devil you didn't at study Atlas. That shit? You did! We even tried to help you the poor girl did. by paying for some treatment, but she didn't want it. Really? It's not easy to offer someone help when they think that you're the problem. Yeah, I. Oh, God, I know that was true. Doesn't know anything. You fucking liar! Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Black. <laughs> black. Rituals. 
Huh? What uh, now, uh, bitch? What now? So, you used to read a lot about voodoo and satanic rituals, but Not you don't know thing. anything about devil worship? <laughs> Well, obviously, I just meant we don't worship the devil. We're not devil worshippers here at Atlas, Inspector. Ridiculous. But the point is, Ryan, well, that you claim not to know anything about <laughs> it, but admitted you were obsessed with it when you were younger. Are you sure none of that made its way onto the Atlas course? And that Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything within that course? Lisa isn't basing her beliefs on anything other than her own imagination, Inspector. Mm. Look. We do point. use yeah. some techniques that some students Ill, find I can see her point difficult, of disturbing. <laughs> we encourage them to see things differently, that's <laughs> all. And some people simply aren't up to that. Some people, like Lisa, uh, that's why we introduce the aptitude test. What's the aptitude test? This. He dresses up in the red costume, and starts stabbing children. <laughs> We ask students to fill in an aptitude test, uh, medical history, psychological issues, that kind of thing, any medication that they have used in the past, any medication that they currently are using. Here, take a look. Uh, I would Basically, to it's just to try and make sure that we don't get another Lisa. Has it worked? Well, touch wood, so far, yes. Can I keep a copy of this? Hmm. Yeah, I'll have uh, this medical document. How much importance they actually give to this test? And what are they doing that's so disturbing anyway? Stabbing people. <gasps> They're having sex orgies! <laughs> With pigeons! <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, ooh. That's it for the time being, thank you. Hang on, I gotta ask, uh... Jimmy and Emma. Jimmy! <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> Aptitude? aptitude? A few more questions, but... if you don't mind. What the fuck is your aptitude? Did you do a test before you started at Atlas? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it was all just questions about uh, if I had any illnesses or mental health problems or stuff like that, you know. You have DID, didn't Jimmy! Ask for anything, so <laughs> I could have lied through your teeth on that one. Don't think they actually checked. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, Emma. Thank you probably be back later. Have you seen one of these before? Um, no, not not this one exactly. But uh, we had to fill something similar in on the first night at Atlas. One of those aptitude tests, you know, fitness and stuff like that. Aptitude. <laughs> I need your tood! I need some tood! <laughs> uh, a few more questions. I don't, if you don't know don't what mind. I'm saying. Tood! Do you know anything about this? It's the aptitude test, isn't it, for Atlas? What do you want to know? Do you know why it was introduced? I um. think they had some trouble with some unsuitable students. I suppose you have to be careful who you work with. Nope. Never came anyone involved with the occult, but Ryan was. He studied it. Uh, well, she may not know be that. back later on if that's okay. Uh, oh wait. Aptitude. This is gonna be filled soon. This is so empty. It's like nine o'clock on a Friday. Oh, it is nine o'clock. Hey, I was right. Jason wants to know anything about an aptitude test. Lisa left, so I guess I gotta go to the woods. Oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, Paul, 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 Paul. Couple more questions, if that's okay. So, what? that yawn, like right next to my ear, freaked me out. 
Oh, Can you tell I'm me a bit about it, it this? It sounds like Please. someone's breathing uh, in my ear. It's the ear. Atlas Aptitude no, Test. Yeah, what do you want like to know? Five feet away from you. <laughs> Does it I know. Test. Exactly. <laughs> but it's you know test, my healing's different. Uh, yeah. We introduced to make sure that any students didn't have any major personality problems, skeletons in the cupboard, so to speak. Like you do. We introduced it because we had a little bit of a problem with one of the students. Mm. Lisa. You are well informed. And what do you think Thank you, Daddy was Snape. that disturbed? <laughs> I believe that the course proved to be too demanding for her. Uh, we discovered that she had one well, or two I mean, psychological problems. Well, I mean, it is psychological conditioning. And did you change anything else they should have done course, the apart from introducing the uh, test? Uh, we increased the entrance age to 21. Well, wasn't much, but it's about the only thing we could do. We didn't want another Lisa. We didn't want students turning around and suing us, did we? Hmm. Aha. So nobody has ever been affected by auto-hypnosis, except Lisa. Hypnosis wasn't the problem, Inspector. Lisa was the problem with Lisa. That's why we introduced the what? test. But the hypnosis was virus. the trigger, wasn't it? Lisa arrived on the course believing we were all devil worshippers. She was nuts to start with. We didn't make her like that. Well, as far as I can tell, Paul, you've had one student accuse you of devil worship and two others commit suicide. Some of your students aren't having a very good time on this course, are they? Nonsense. <laughs> Kate was enjoying every minute of it. She couldn't get enough of it. Really? She was full of the joys of life. Bubbly, confident, flirty. With who? You mean with whom? With whom? Pretty posh! much everybody. He's so Including posh. Including me, as I remember. Really? Uh -huh. And uh, did you respond? I don't get into relationships with students. It's not a company policy. It's not professional. Uh huh. Just an admission that Kate flirted with him. There's no way Paul Wait. would have turned down an opportunity like that. Exactly. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What? But. Wait. Why? He says he doesn't flaw in being in a relationship with students, but he tried to date Kate once. Not Kate, Emma. Not, yeah, uh, Emma, Emma. She knows her name. Freedom. But... The contradiction I found. Let's see. Aptitude test. Uh. Ah. Yes! Yeah, because he is Fuck so full. So you avoid relationships with students. It takes me longer. Emma, who you tried to date? Oh, come on, Inspector. That was a long time it ago. It takes what about me Kate longer. Did you try to date the things her or I want not? To ask. Be so ridiculous, Did Inspector. you actually ask Kate the right one? Kate was exceptionally ones. clever girl. She knew exactly what she wanted, and she, she knew how to dip. get it. You mean that Kate approached you? It wouldn't surprise me if she was playing everyone in the group. Kate had more enemies than you'd think. She was a very, very manipulative young woman. Woo! Yay! Yay! Ten o'clock, it's getting late. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to pick up the pace if I'm gonna solve this by midnight. Why does it have to be midnight? Don't investigations take, like, weeks? Depending, yeah, I mean... I mean, I like a style, like, let's, let's push through. I mean, unless it's the sort of situation where his boss is like... You got a day to figure this out or you're off the case. Is, um, make a, uh, one of our little mini movies. Uh, except one of the characters. I'm gonna it's my place, darling. It is your place, yeah. I just don't want to tell tales. Tell him about Simon. You know what happens when you don't do as I say. Oh. Oh! 
Ah, so it's going to be that kind of evening, is it? He's a cockhole! Only if you deal. Problems? Hello, Inspector. <laughs> oh! See you later. Okay, he's a total sub! Oh, good for you, buddy. Good for you. Couple more questions, if that's okay? Why'd you slap your husband? Wait, I can't ask about that? I can't ask about that whatsoever? Well, I mean, like... <laughs> Be back later on, if that's okay. I know. Okay. Go, go hunt him down. He, I think he's yeah. in the, the other half of the... Oh. I, I, I think... Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. A few more questions, yeah, please. Went to the Thank other you. Side of the pub. Probably be back later. I was hoping he was home. Is that or he's uh, in the garage doing auto erotic fixation <laughs> with his call. <laughs> oh my god! No! No! <coughs> with his guitars. With his guitars. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, can you imagine if someone, if a man's jacking off with, uh, like the fucking strings of a guitar? The callus and cuts? Mmm. Oh, oh, no, it would just no. straight cut. Whatever. Just. Castration at its best. Oh, I guess he's. Oh, investigate! Investigate? Why? Why don't we never see that? Oh, my cubes! My favorite. Hmm. Well, isn't that interesting? White cubes. Is that sugar? Yes. Rough cut sugar. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, it's literally just called white cubes, though. White cubes are better than white lines. <laughs> 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 uh, not always. <laughs> I'm gonna regret saying that. Okay, Rebecca! Rebecca! Wait, I'm over here. Rebecca! <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna run outside just to come back in. <laughs> yeah. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. And then you just see, like, all this fucking white powder on his nose and mouth. <laughs> it was a donut! <laughs> the cupboard downstairs has uncut a lot of stuff in it. Is that? Prescriptions. <laughs> Made out to you. Oh, they're just spare painkillers. The chemist always gives us too many. He's a friend of the family. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. You're oh, a drug dealer. Being. Thank you. Drug dealer. Wait. Wait. No, I guess that does make sense. No, because she's once said Wait. that she doesn't take medications. But she has I medication. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Don't mind. But they're See. unopened in, in a cupboard, so she may not... She may get uh, prescriptions, but not use them. Which would... Well, she, well, it still doesn't make sense, though. Because she doesn't take any drugs, so why would she get drugs if she doesn't take them? Aha. Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. So, you don't That's take any medicines like. except for prescription painkillers. Well, they're not actually for me, they're Ryan's. Um, for some reason, the chemist always makes them out to my name. Bullshit. He's a yeah, it's illegal. Gentleman. Does Ryan oh, need God. prescription painkillers? Yes, he's got arthritis. Really? He's young to suffer from that, isn't he? Not he doesn't have it badly, it. but he does need medication from time to time. What medicine is it? I can tell you, to be honest. Ryan will know. So Ryan's the one using the prescriptions. I think I might have a word with him, work out exactly what this medicine is. Yeah. Ryan! Ryan! Where the fuck did he go? Did he... he, he watch he, 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 he left the pub and then fucking straight bolted through the woods <laughs> to this place. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan! With the whole arm pumping, screaming the whole way. Well, then he just uh, shows up here and like, if you don't mind. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Exactly. Tell me about your arthritis. Oh, you found out about that. <laughs> well, yes, <gasps> I'm old before my time. <laughs> I don't want to hold the actually. So young. 
Well, I take a lot from life, Inspector. And sometimes life likes to give you a little bit back. I mean, it's not too bad, it's not too debilitating. It's mainly uh, some in my right hand, some in my left hand. It's not particularly a problem. Uh, oh, it makes stop. it difficult to hold small things, though. What do you, you take for it? I uh, get a prescription painkiller. How often do you need that? He's not often, as and when, as and when. I keep <laughs> some here, I keep you some at home. You have to find it first. Oh. No Let's see. Walk at home. Yeah, but it's authorized is not a problem. Wait a second. Do you know what the medicine in the cupboard at the pub is for? You'd better ask Rebecca about that. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. She tends to keep her wares under lock and key. <clears throat> Do you know, our wedding night was quite a surprise. <laughs> Pulls out a fucking vibrator. <laughs> a whip. A horse whip. A cow the frog. <laughs> a strap on. <laughs> the fistinator 5000. <laughs> yeah, the fisting bat. <laughs> Look at Jimmy's fist again. I forgot about that. I don't know if I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, got my fist in back. <laughs> Thank you. Do I have to take another fucking later. walk in the woods? <laughs> I have to take the like, twenty fucking walks in the woods to find out anything. Yeah. What you do need to do is mm. cut this part because I'm gonna piss myself. Okay. I'm just gonna walk in the woods! <laughs> you don't need to get those. Now, put this fucking door away. I swear. <laughs> Couple more questions, if that's okay. I know! <sighs> Jimmy! Oh! Oh! Video! Movie! That fucking ass! Damn, Jimmy! Um, I don't know if I can replay it. Bit careless, Simon. Probably nothing important, but at this stage, I need all the clues I can get. So Jimmy dropped a card. It's a business card and a keychain. And Jason's just stealing everything. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Do you want me to wait for you? Nah. What do you know about this? This is Simon's. I bought this for him when we were on holiday. Has he lost it? He dropped it. I can't keep anything. Okay, business card. Aztec. A Dean Hayfield, managing director. Have you seen this before? Um, nope. Sorry, never heard of him. <clears throat> Simon's starting his own occult. Simon! Hear that later on, if that's okay. <coughs> I uh, think you dropped this outside. Someone you know. Oh, this is just this is just from some IT guy in there. I, I don't need it. Enough. I uh, noticed some numbers on the back. Do you need these? I don't know. Uh, what is it? Uh, one nine zero five. Oh yeah, yeah. That's just that's just uh, a pin for something. It's okay. I can remember it. So not an offshore savings account or anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's uh, it, it's not important. Lies, lie, you sexy liar. Also, guys, don't write your pin numbers down. Yeah, it's that's the dumbest fucking thing. Is this do. yours? Yeah, that's for my keys. Where did you find that? Just outside. Right. Oh, it must have come off when uh, Nathan dropped my keys off. Uh, he was borrowing my car. That's very you trusting. Yeah, I suppose it is. I, I am a bit too trusting, really. 
It's you a don't have a car. Well. You don't have a call. Apparently he does, because it's bullshit. He, he often lends it. Ah. See? Ah. Oh. So the bike's the only way you can get to work, yes? Yeah. What's wrong with the car? No, I can't drive the car yet, can I? I don't have my license. Right. I got then a windfall you get a call? from an insurance oh, payout. Oh, you can just buy cars. Uh, just figured I'd I buy something could. sensible with well, it straight away instead of wasting the money. Okay, what was the insurance oh. payout? Uh, it was for a laptop. It got stolen you don't, down You weren't outlets. required to have, like, insurance, I don't well, think Well, they didn't either. break in. They, I, think I they don't just know. Walked in I'm and not took sure. it. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. The laptop was in a storeroom, mm -hmm. but I think the lock was broken, to Yeah, you don't have to jump through, like, taking their security very seriously. Well, actually, it got a lot better after that. I think I'll check it anyway. Must have been a very nice laptop to be able to buy a car with the insurance. Or oh. a very cheap car. Might have to have a talk with Ryan about his security measures. I think <laughs> Simon is the one who, uh... Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Is the one who vandalized the car instead. For the insurance money, or part of the insurance money that Ryan collected. That's what I believe. Because, I mean, Cause Lisa, that's insurance out fraud. Yeah, Lisa outright admitted to it. Wow. <laughs> but <clears throat> why wouldn't he go... Ask you a couple more things, please. Wow. Hang on. What about this? Know anything about this? Uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. We, we have our own IT chap. Lovely chap, in fact. Uh, fat and sweaty, though. It's <laughs> like a battle, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, I, li I really do like this guy. All the shit talk I do on him. It it's not the actor, it's the character. But I like that. That was really funny. Yeah, any comments we make about the Have game you seen is about this the characters, before? not the people. Yeah. Oh, sorry. For the most part. What? <laughs> like, don't say Jimmy's Were you at Atlas when Simon's oh, laptop was stolen? Oh, yeah, the f oh, I that's, believe I was, yes. It was taken from the, the storeroom in the hallway. Yeah. Was it ever recovered? No, we didn't catch anyone. We're quite exposed out here. Uh, somebody could just wandered along the lane, seen into the storeroom. It's not particularly secure. They could have been in and out within minutes. Uh, <laughs> that's oh, why we advise yeah, people to business. keep their valuables with them. You can't be too careful these days, Inspector. From the storeroom. Can I go to the storeroom? Hello. Go home. <laughs> At this point, I'm starting to wonder if it's just a statue. What? Save your damn dolly, hence you whole. <laughs> A statue? Yeah, the dude in the lake. It's starting to wonder if it's legit just a statue uh, and not an actual, like, fisherman. Okay. <clears throat> Land to woods. <laughs> You're just walking up and down people's <laughs> sidewalks, looking in their windows and then running off. <laughs> <laughs> Business! Have you seen this before? No. Lyle! Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. Uh, okay. I got this! Thank you. <laughs> Probably be back later. Oh, I'm coming back. You want me to know how fast I'm coming back? <laughs> <laughs> Ask about a few more things, please. Oh, fuck, my ear. No, oh, thank you. Uh, the only thing, my ears get so itchy. You can't, they are so fucking itchy when I have to ear, uh, whale earbuds. Oh, yeah, my ears get that way, too. 
I'm so I'm not the only one who suffers like this. Do you that know who this good. is? Uh, Dean Can Hayfield, I use your Aztec. Get, like, in my ear? Sorry, oh, never I heard hate of those. My ears we have are uh, some and gross. prisoner sword. Prisoner sword. That's R.I.T. Large guy. No manners. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> your deadpan still told me all the answers. Seen this before anywhere? No. Uh. And what do you know about Simon's laptop being stolen from Atlas? Oh no, I wasn't happy about it. What did you do about it? Ryan paid a con man to install a complicated CCTV system at twice the price that it would probably have cost. Seemed to do the trick though, we haven't had a theft since. I mean, you literally encourage people to steal and do whatever yeah. with no guilt. Yeah, I know. Are we sure Ryan didn't take the laptop? That's all for the moment. Thank you. I, you have to wonder. Is he, he's getting bitch slapped around by his wife. You know yeah, he's a but sub. He, yeah, but he likes it. <laughs> I know he likes it. He's probably he's probably in the building right now watching some serious BDMS. <laughs> he might be. Or BDSM, whatever. For all we know, they're having fucking orgies up there. Probably. That wasn't, wasn't surprise me. Oh, I'm one of, uh, cardboard nose. Cardboard! Standy! Couple more questions, if that's okay. What? How about this? Seen this before? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Man, this guy is super stupidly unhelpful. We need uh, to just recognize stop this to him. at all. I would love to. Yeah, he fixed my laptop. Oh, Does he okay. live locally? I think so. One time. Uh, okay. Dude, come on. <laughs> Be back later on if that's okay. Look in the greenhouse. Get the weed. Get the carrots. <laughs> Grab the potato. <laughs> Grab the potatoes and twist. Potatoes and twist. <laughs> Gonna go uphill. Grab the weed! Grab the carrots! Grab the potatoes! Mm. I just wanna go with you. <laughs> I'm gonna creep out behind their house yep. again. <laughs> Take the call! <laughs> Steal the carrots! Oh my god, the license Steal plate! Steal the potato! <laughs> the license plate! I know. Take the potatoes! <laughs> I mean, of all the license plates to have, it's pretty random. <laughs> ah. Take the potatoes. Oh, I want some, uh... Pots. <laughs> Can I have some pots? You want them frozen? <laughs> pots. <laughs> you want some nice frozen tots? I want to your questions, please. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. So, you don't keep any medicines on site at Atlas. No. Except your prescription painkillers. Well, these are not available to the students. Though. But they are kept on site. Yes, but they're locked away. They're kept in the storeroom. Nobody would have access to them. You're sure about that? Absolutely sure. Um, what are the painkillers, Ryan? <laughs> painkillers. Uh, just painkillers. Normal painkillers. Paracetamol. Codeine. Morphine. Well, all right. Weed. The morphine tablets, yes. Oh, really? Oh, come really? on, Inspector. I know what you're thinking, but there's no way Kate could have had access to them. Because they're in the storeroom. Well, not just that. She wouldn't have even known about them, or where they were. Sure about that? Yes. 
So it is morphine Ryan's taking. The pieces are starting to come together. Now I just have to work out how Kate got hold of it. If it was Ryan's morphine she got hold of, of course. I want the pen number was the... The stolen has to have like a key code and the pen that Jens has mm. is the key code to the storeroom. Mm, that could be. Because, I mean, his laptop was stolen from the storeroom, so obviously someone can get in. Yeah, I know. Okay. <coughs> Is that? No. That's a horrible placement for a door, by the way. I'm just... And there's a kitty mug. Could be a butler door. Or like whenever it's revamped. Hmm? That sucks for anyone who's trying to bottle. Bottle, bottle! Bottle, bottle. Oh! When did Ryan begin to suffer him. from arthritis? Ryan doesn't suffer from arthritis. Really? The only thing that Ryan suffers from is a pathetic inability to deal with any kind of discomfort. He pulled his back sometime last year. Since then, he's going around telling everybody he suffers from arthritis. I thought he had thing. medication for it. Oh, he only has medication because his GP, who is almost as dysfunctional as he is, keeps prescribing it for him. So you don't believe he really has arthritis? Not at all. Ooh, but why? Let's go back to Ryan. Ryan! Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Ah. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. So the storeroom isn't particularly secure, yet you keep your morphine tablets in there. I thought you said no one could get access to the morphine, but they could quite easily, couldn't they, Ryan? Okay, I didn't mean that clock. storeroom. I meant a different storeroom. I kicked them in there. Okay. Ooh. So where was it locked up? It's upstairs. It's got a combination lock on it. Nobody oh, could have access to it. Oh, I was right! Nobody. Right. I might have a look at that if you don't Bush! mind. Don't mind at all. I'm still a combination locked now. room, I see. Well, I, mean, I might have a look around for that. that. See how lot. secure and yep. combination locked it everything. really is. Be back later on, if that's okay. I'm gonna loot your drugs. I'm still. Private? But wait. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh. Try this! It's not in the correct numbers. <laughs> Welcome to the mirror room. This exercise is all about identifying the difference between the image one presents to the world and one's real self, which lies deep in our unconscious. As you move through the network of mirrors, practice seeing yourself as a stranger. Nope. The more you separate from your persona, the more aware you will become of your true desires and ambitions. Chant with us. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. No, it's sad. I am free from myself. The song of the image. I am free from my past. That's uh, being talked about in this game. This exercise involves the use of liberation masks. Help. You have now completed people, Module 1. Like with, uh, module PTSD, 2 covers boundary testing, racial testing, and extreme uh, testing. Please read the notes these carefully exercises before attempting the module. Help them if these guys wasn't douchebags. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave. And then... I think I'm gonna leave the game. <laughs> Key combination, how? Huh? Save, 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 save! Wait, 
Save. Yes! Yes, I want to save. Okay, 78%. Oh my god, I've been at this for way too long for only 8%. Well, that's alright. Well, well, then again. I played longer games with a lot less information and a lot less progress. Yep. But thank you everyone for watching. If you like this, great. If you want to finish the game with us, if you want to finish and watch the conclusion of this exciting game called Contradiction, well, I'm about to bash my head off trying to figure these things out. Join us. You know you want to. Join us! And then you too will have delicious potatoes.